I read also that you like to use music when you're writing, which I think is quite unusual. I wonder if you could yeah. say a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, well, when I, I don't know why, but when I started writing Our Endless Number of Days, which was the first novel that I wrote and the first novel that was published, um, I... I, I put on some music and mm -hmm. I started writing to that and it's actually, I, I wrote that to um, a band or it's one man called Iron and Wine whose, um, one of his albums was called Our Endless Number Days so I actually stole yeah. the, t the title of the album and it got to such a stage where I would put this, put this playlist on it was about 150 tracks and it would just get me immediately into the writing zone mm. So I would put it on and I would understand, right, this is writing time, then no more pro procrastination, mm. no more washing up mm. and hanging out mm. the washing. You, you've got to write now. Um, and it would also set the tone of the book. It was very acoustic music and um, very beautiful melodic music, quite sad. Um, and because, I, because that seemed to work for the first book, I thought, well, I'll you know, try and do the same for the second. And the playlist I created was um, from a musician called Towns Van Zant, who also appears in, his music appears in the book. Gil owns um, some of his albums and Flora puts it on. Um, and so I wrote to his, but I think I had a lot fewer tracks, maybe about 40. Mm. So the sequence was much mm. shorter. And I think it probably drove my family absolutely mm. mad having this music mm. on, on a loop mm. again and again. Um, but it did really help. And the third book I'm writing now, I'm r it's even more melancholic. I'm writing it to Leonard Cohen. Oh. Um, which is... What could be finer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful music. Yeah. And, you know, even sadder now. Mm. You know, every time I put it on. Yeah.